boys and girls, Miss Amanda here. This week we are studying about bugs. So right now I'm going to read us a story about the bugs in the tall, tall grass. And then my friend Miss Kirsten is going to help us learn parts of bugs and we'll sort them. So here we go. In the tall, tall grass by Dennis Fleming. So if this is, the, what is this boys and girls? The front of the book. Very good. So if this is the front, this is the back. back of the book. And what do we have here? The spine of the book that helps hold the book together. So here we go. In the tall, tall grass. Now I want you to listen for this story and see if you can hear those rhyming words. We talked about those a long time ago when we talked about Dr. Seuss, but I bet my boys and girls remember. So here's our title page, In the Tall, Tall Grass by Denise Fleming. In the tall, tall grass. What do we see here? A caterpillar? Oh my gosh. Crunch, munch. Caterpillar lunch. <laughs> Drop, trip, hummingbird sip. So what are the hummingbirds doing? They're sipping, you're right, and they're spreading what? The honey or the pollen like we talked about in gardening. Strum, drum, bees hum, buzz. Buzz, and they help pollinate the flowers, don't they? Creak, snap, flap, wings, flap. Pull tug, ant lungs. So see the ants, they're in their ant hive. Or their ant hill. Slip, slap, slide, snake. And they're gliding in the what? In the grass. Rich, Mitch, Mole, Scratch. <clears throat> Sticker Security. Beetles Hurry. Beetle. Does anybody know what a beetle is? Right, it's a bug. That's got the hard shell on it. What does that remind you of? Oh, like a turtle. Sip, sip, tongue, snap. So what are these? Our frogs. And what does it look like the frogs are looking for? You're right, the flies. To help eat the flies. Hip, hop, ears, flop. What do we have here? A bunny in the hip. Fireflies glow. When do we see fireflies? Right, we might see them at nighttime. <coughs> Why are they called fireflies? You're right, because their tails light up. Lung, loop, bat, swoop. Stars bright, moonlight. Good night, tall, tall grass. The end. So we saw lots of bugs and insects in our story, didn't we? So now we're going to do an activity where we sort the bugs. So I'm going to let my friend Kirsten come help us sort the bugs. <clears throat> let me set it all out for my friend. All right, give me just a minute, boys and girls. See you soon. <clears throat> <coughs> Hello, Kirsten. Hi. What are we going to be doing? Sorting bugs. Sorting bugs. And how are we going to be sorting the bugs? Um, by... I see those cards that are sitting there. Can you tell us what says on those cards? Um, insect, not insect. Okay, insect, not insect. So what does that mean? Um, that... One is an insect and one is not. One is an insect and one is not. Okay. Wings and no wings. Wings and no wings. And antennas and no 
Antennas, no antennas. Can you tell us what antennas are? Um, they're those pokey things that come out of their head. Oh, they come out, and they, those are kind of like they help them see and mm -hmm. hear to protect themselves. So, are you saying antennas and wings are characteristics of bugs? Yeah. Alrighty, well, let's get started on sorting. What do we have there? A scorpion. A scorpion. So which one are you going to put that on? Are you going to put that on the insect, the wings, or the antennas? Insect. Okay, so first, is it an insect or is it a non-insect? A non-insect. Okay, so we're going to put it on the non-insect. All right, let's pick a few more. Let's see what we've got in there. We got a cockroach. A cockroach. So is that an insect or not an insect? So it's going on the insect side. All right, let's pick a few more and see what else we have in the box. Do you have crickets? Those are, those are called praying mantises. Praying mantises. Or a lot of people call them walking sticks. Because you, can you hold them up so the boys and girls can see how tall he is? That's why they call him a walking stick. So is he an insect or not insect? Insect. Insect. Very good. All righty, let's pick out a few more. What do we have here? That's called a centipede. Yeah, a centipede. And you know why it's called a centipede? Because it has so many legs. So have you ever heard of a centipede before? Yeah. Yeah? So is the centipede an insect or a non-insect? A non-insect. Non All right. And what do we have here? That's a big ant. So is that an insect or a non-insect? An insect. Alrighty. So how many insects do we have, Kirsten? Three. Three. And how many non-insects do we have? Two. So how many more? Which has more? Insects. Insects. Alright, let's move on to our next one. What do we have here? Another cockroach. Another cockroach. So what card do you have in front of you? And wings are no wings. So does the cockroach have wings? Uh, no. No. So we put it on what side? No wings. No wings. Alrighty. I got a... That looks like a caterpillar. A caterpillar. So does the caterpillar have wings? No. No wings. Let's see. Is there one in there that has wings? Oh, and what is that? Do you a know? Mosquito? Close. It's a dragonfly. And can you point to its wings? Very good. So what side does it go on? Wings. Wings. So how many do we have that has wings? One. How many do we have that has no wings? Two. So which one has more? No wings. No wings because it has two. All right, you have one more card in front of you. What does that card say? Antennas are no antennas. And we said the antennas are where? On their heads. On their heads to help them see and to protect themselves. So what bug do you have there? It's not. It's oh, it's octopus. not. Oh, so where does that need to go? No antennas. No, well, you're right. It has no antennas. Very good. I got a bee. A bee. And do you see the antennas? Yes. Yeah. Right there at the very top of his head. Very good. So what side should that go on? Antennas. Antennas. Now I have a grasshopper. And does it have antennas? Yep. Where at? Right there. At the where? At their head. At their head. All right, let's pick two more and see what we've got. We got a spider. A spider. Does a spider have antennas? No. No, because it has a lot of eyes. So it goes on the what side? No antennas. No antennas. And then we got... That looks like the beetle that we read in our story. Yeah, beetle. And where... Does it have antennas? Right there. Right there. Right on, its on its head. So how many do we have that have antennas? Three. How many do we have that don't have antennas? Two. So on that card, which has more? Antennas. Have you enjoyed our activity today? Yes. Alrighty. How can the boys and girls do this at home? Um, 
They can sort? They can sort. Or they can what? Count. Alrighty, we hope you have a good day. Bye, boys and girls.